is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's Amazing Promise. Abraham is called by God. Genesis <coughs> chapter 12 verse 1 to 9 and chapter 5, 15 1 to 7. Let's read. Abraham lived in Haran. Abraham, God said, I want you to leave Haran and go to another land. God didn't tell Abraham where that was. Trust me, God said. So Abraham lived in Haran and God, one day God has <coughs> called Abraham. Abraham, go to another land. God didn't tell, also God didn't tell Abraham where he must go. And God said, trust me. Do this, God said, <coughs> and your children will become a great nation. How? Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have children. Trust me, God said. So... God told Abraham that Abraham will have a great nation. And Abraham wondered how? Sarah is too old. And God again said, Trust me. Sarah was very old. But God said that they will have a great nation. The bread table we have found the Bible gem. Question Did God tell Abraham where he must go? No. God didn't tell Abraham. He only said, Trust me. Go wherever I tell you, God said. And you will have more distance than there are stars in the sky. They will bless the whole world. Trust me. <coughs> so go where I have told you. And you will have more distance than the sky. Stars in the sky. Like, let's see in the next page that Abraham will trust God and go to another land or Abraham will stay. <coughs> Again, Sarah is making a suit. So Abraham trusted God. He took Sarah, his nephew Lot, and everything what they owned. He went where God told him to go. We he went to the land of Canaan. So Abraham trusted God and gone. And all of his family and all of things they have brought to and he went to the land of Canaania.
question. God said Abraham would have more distance than they were number three. The stars. Then he arrived. Abraham camped at Shechem. God appeared to him. I will give this land and your and you, your children. God said, Abraham built an altar to God there. So Abraham arrived. And they camped it at Shechem. God has prepared that land for Abraham. And God said that I will give you this land to your children. And Abraham was very thankful to God. So he built an altar. <coughs> oh, that lucky very Abraham traveled around God's promised land. He was glad that he had trust God. So he built another altar to give thanks to God for all he had been promised. So Abraham was has trust God and came to another land. And Abraham traveled around God's promised land and he was glad that he had trusted God, so he built another altar. Oh, finally, now Sarah is not making a soup. <coughs> Question. Abraham built an altar to God, giving thanks for all he had been promised. True. Well, we have got a new star. <laughs> yeah, we have got a new, a new star, and today we will learn one song. The fruit of the spirit. I know that what faith called me, and we will learn the song: love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. So we will do the action with the song. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, oh. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah, we have this song. So we'll learn these songs whenever we have time. Yeah. And today Eric the Bible story does it enjoy and next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!